Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Our hymn number 789, Savior like a shepherd lead us. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed. But some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, in whom we are forgiven. We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve him. A reading from Isaiah chapter 40. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. These familiar words from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right pathways for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 10th chapter. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. 
and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. Our hymn number 501, He Leadeth Me. The image of Jesus as the Good Shepherd is one of my favorites. It always makes me feel warm and safe. It reminds me that God loves me and is looking after me like a loving father. I'm a city girl and I don't know too much about shepherds or sheep, except for the basics, that is. I mean, I know that shepherds look over the sheep and protect them, and I know that sheep eat grass, are usually white or black, and that their wool gives us nice clothing. But beyond that, I, excuse me, I hate to interrupt, but I think that I can help you. Who are you? My name is Amos. I am a shepherd from Galilee. You won't find me in your Bible. I wasn't fortunate enough to have known Jesus during his earthly ministry, but I do know about sheep. I think that I can tell you some things that might help deepen your understanding of the image of Jesus as the Good Shepherd. Well, I guess it would be all right. I mean, all through the Bible, in both the Old and the New Testaments, we are referred to as the sheep of God's pasture. I'm sure that you 
all that you know a lot more about sheep and shepherds than I do. It is true that the people of Jesus' time were more familiar with the animals than we are today. Perhaps knowing more about sheep will help us understand the image of the Good Shepherd more clearly. Please, Amos, tell us what you know. Well, to begin with, sheep are among the most foolish of creatures. They lack even the basic instinct of self-preservation. They are the ultimate followers of the animal kingdom. Sheep will follow anything and anybody anywhere. We shepherds have used this trait of theirs for centuries to get them. We are also like sheep. When we are unable or unwilling to adapt to new situations and new people, we condemn the faith of the cultures of others simply because they are different from what we are used to instead of trying to understand and appreciate them. We look down upon people of different races and religions instead of rejoicing in the vast variety of God's creation and using our differences to enrich our own understanding of God's word. We rejected to or deny new scientific discoveries instead of using them to expand our understanding of and our appreciation of for the wonderful complexity of creation. We stand knee deep in new ideas and inspiration while our minds and our faith stagnate from lack of use. Finally and tragically, we are too nearsighted to see the danger that we are in. We concern ourselves with the here and now. We are, we, while we ignore the hereafter, we fret and fume over earthly matters. Laying up as Jesus said, treasure on earth while our eternal coffers remain empty. Thank God we have a good shepherd to guide, to protect, to teach, and sometimes to prod his foolish sheep. A loving shepherd who did not hesitate to lay down his life for all salvation. salvation. A shepherd who calls us and guides us daily in the path to eternal life. We know that if we heed his call and follow his example, we will be saved. Yet, all too often, we still behave like willful and foolish sheep. Thank God that we have a faithful and patient shepherd in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. Guard us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me in the shadow of your wing. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. We pray for Jackson, Jacobson, Kiefer, Keith, Kelsey, Kinzel, Cook, Kroger, Croats, Cruz, Cubic, Cuthy, Cussero, Lane, Lee, Leighton, Lucas, McCarthy, McArath, McKinstry, Marling, Miglia, Moling, Moore, Munson, Nerschel, Nordstrom, Olson, and Orr. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace.